let's talk about theories of development the first theory we are going to talk about is theory of free formation definition here is the theory of free formation prevalent in history of developmental biology posits that organism exists in miniature fully formed versions within either the egg that is ovism or sperm that is spermism before fertilization key concepts ovism this variant suggests that the embryo is preformed in the egg with the sperm playing a triggering role or activating role during fertilization in spermism this variant proposes that the entire organism is preformed in the sperm and the egg merely serves as a nurturing environment for the pre-existing miniature organism in this diagram here we can look at the spermism in this sperm cell where this part is the head and this part is the tail region the head region consists of a miniature version of an adult here we can look at its head its hand and legs the historical context the preformationist view as was prominent during 17th and 18th century microscopic observation were limited during this period and the concept of preformation seemed to offer a straightforward explanation for the apparent complexity of living organisms supporting ideas homunculus concept in spermism it was believed that a tiny fully formed human homunculus resided in this sperm ready to develop into a complete organism upon fertilization epigenesis rejection preformationists rejected the competing theory of epigenesis which suggested that organisms develop gradually from undifferentiated material notable proponents that is antiquity Uh, the idea resembling free formation can be traced back to ancient greece with certain philosophers proposing that organisms were preformed in miniature version leeuwenhoek and donny von leeuwenhoek discovered sperm cells in the 17th century adding to the support of spermism buffon george lewis lecrec comte de buffon proposed a modified version of free formation suggesting that all organisms start from microscopic particles decline the advent of improved microscope in 19th century allowed scientists to observe and understand embryonic development more accurately leading to the decline of preformationist idea the work of embryologists like karl ernst von baer who emphasized the gradual and sequential development of embryos contributed to the acceptance of epigenesis legacy While the preformationist theory is largely discredited in modern biology, aspects of it influenced the later study of genetics. As the concept of heredity was linked to the idea of pre-existing information in the germ cells. Epigenesis contrast. The theory of epigenesis, which gained prominence in 18th century, proposed that organisms develop progressively from undifferentiated material, challenging the preformationist view.